Yeah. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Uh, we have met members. And uh, the points are covered. Yeah. Yeah. most of the points are covered already, so we will, I will not go through those points. And uh, uh, the very first, uh, like inside, we go, we go to know is this club is getting, uh, is, is actually, you know, more popular nowadays. Uh, it's, you know, helping uh, in uh, team self organization uh, and uh, people are re doing really good at work. And wherever PMO is involved, um, we are, you know, uh, the success rate is higher. So involvement is, of PO is making sure that success rate is, you know, uh, of, of the uh, delivery or of the, the process is, is, is higher. And next is, uh, Scrum is uh, uh, actually improved the average uh, timeline of the delivery of a product. And uh, next thing uh, we say here, uh, the average timeline we found here is to be 2.4 weeks, and uh, average release time is, uh, uh, I think, 68 weeks here. 6.8 6. 6. 6. weeks here. And uh, uh, there is uh, uh, some alignment with SAFE. Uh, I think uh, you can better explain. Uh, because you know that the, based on this report, we identified that the, uh, the average cycle of a from uh, release basically 2.4, okay, and then the uh, average time for release is like 2.4, which is uh, like more to more to like uh, you know that safe uh, practices, okay, which they are describing as a code and below. So we can say that uh, we are talking about the enterprise level uh, scrum implementation, so maybe the more popular would be. Uh, like the same in the future. So Scrum is inbuilt over there, the Canvas is inbuilt over there, and the uh, Excellent Programming is inbuilt over there. And you know that uh, the art organization structure, like matrix organization structure is also there. So uh, it is giving you the opportunity to work with a whole kind of organization, but then it will new flavor and the beautiful cost uh, delivery model. Okay, so that's the reason it is more uh, uh, like aligned with the same practices. So that is the reason we are saying the same who are going to be like uh, hit in the market, maybe in the blockbuster movie in the So uh, future trend, uh, mindset is changing. So people are adapting, you know, going more agile. Uh, second is, uh, the Scrum is uh, going global. And uh, it's a... Uh, Next is R and D is uh, it is going to be you know uh, the focus <coughs> for, for 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 the agility. Kanban and save, I think, uh, is going to be future because uh, now uh, when we go more on support things and uh, some mixed uh, which like uh, uh, my uh, my colleague has explained. So uh, Kanban and save is actually you know catering the requirements and the need of the upcoming. Uh, uh, requirements or, or trend or, or the or the challenges. Another point is DevOps. So DevOps is actually a solution to a uh, to a problem called like uh, the gap between IT process and uh, the developers. The developers have done something, it's been tested on their environment by QA. When it goes to you know delivery, another like it's going to UAT, it's going to staging, it's going to production, then Ops guy says, hey, it's not working here. The developer guy says, hey, it's working on local, fine. You, you have messed up something, right? It is because there's a human intervention. So, they have to start from, from the developer and end till the <coughs> delivery when it's going to the market. So here, what they are saying here, the focus is on like uh, the developer should do the development, not the deployment. And we should adopt uh, the, uh, let's say, uh, automation. So, like uh, uh, the previous team explained, uh, that uh, automation is going to be, you know, help here. We are delivering one sprint, then next sprint, then next sprint, and if we are doing it in a manual way, it's going to be very hard work for the QAs to test it. Same way, if uh, the unit testing is being, you know, uh, done automated, we have a, uh, documented, like, what, what test cases we have written, what is missed, and if something is missed or like everything is there, and in the, uh, at a given point of time, everything like the entire code is collaborated or compiled and get it uh, built, and then task is executed. So like beforehand or like uh, at the very beginning, we are getting what errors are there and we can fix it. On the same way, from here, when it goes to UAT or different environments, 
we have uh, different tools here, uh, CI tools and CV tools, which helps us to you know to minimize the risk and to uh, uh, get error free or something like environment setup. So we have tools which actually helps like managing your artifacts, managing your builds. So that is going to be future. Next is uh, Scrum Master and PM role. That's a big conflict. PM is uh, going to be you know chal on challenging uh, role here, operation here. And uh, I have a uh, Christian, uh, my colleague. He would like to explain some other points. Uh, yes, two things. The my previous I've explained about the work. In simple words, we are uh, removing the manual intervention and opting for more automation. Simple words. And uh, Scrum Master, I heard uh, game role is you know overtaken by the Scrum Master. No, that's not going to be possible. Scrum Master and PM are going to conflict into that. Scrum Master cannot take a decision what PM can do. So that will always, you know, conflict is there, but PM will, will never be taken by Scrum Master. One more question. Like, you know that if you all are engineers and then uh, there are a lot of certification for us. So we are uh, seeing from uh, the report that if there could be like more alignment between because we are, somebody was talking about that we, uh, we are taking initiative, but you know that we are higher management or the administrative level will actually they are not more aside or maybe the, uh, the other department is not more aside. Okay, so future trend that is that those department will be more as that. And the second thing, there could be like uh, some alignment between like business executive versus like uh, engineer. So there could be some more future certifications uh, which can be uh, like uh, specialized in like uh, you know, for business executive level. Okay, rather than engineering level. So this this could be one possibility. So let me tell you, the trend is that the leadership management is indeed supporting Agile. That is the trend. And it is becoming a de facto standard now. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.